save the debate, let's face it, because we all know Dave Chappelle's the greatest. But I work with comedians of younger ages with innocent minds and neural hatred. And the mouths of babes come the funniest of phrases. There's nothing like a teenager saying something so bizarre if I get my professional veneer or when I hear a baloney bar in my ear seem to steer me towards the orator to bring me some cheer. Because deep down, my biggest fear is a deep frown I can't replace with a smile and a chuckle to make my class feel elated. And at the end of the day, spent with stress, it ceased to forget as we're rapidly racing to back home or other welcoming spaces. Take a deep breath. Lungs are inflated and sigh. Mm-hmm. We finally greet loving faces. Embrace at first, whisper in my ear a funny quip, affectionate smile that starts from my eyes and ending up at her lips. And I end this list lest it becomes too intimate, but the theme was laughter. My wife is your answer, share mine. That's number one. Cool, 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 cool. Click, click, click. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because my intentions are translucent, but I'm a nuisance to those who wrote the rule book. You knew the journey this fall to sacrifice to continue making improvements. Because I wish I knew the right maneuvers, choose the route to avoid being a loser. Should I? Compromise my faith and smooch at boozes, or should I suit and boot and move a little smoother? Because who's going to prove me wrong, huh? Because career ladders seem a little bit slippy for skin's darker. No matter how much you embark on a path for better, this money trees go short at this side of the harbour. The bridge is taking too long to build and prolongs the departure, so I wade in the water to leave conditions harsher. I become a strap on rickety grass, right against the tide and tide. Dying inside, giant rivers near the fire. Because recently, I've been feeling glum. I guess I haven't read the word of the Quran and I get all exhausted in the slump, so I think I might have saw the conundrum, the problem is with me is such a humdrum, because um, in poetry I'm known as soft-spoken, in work I'm known as outspoken. When they prefer the work is unspoken, I'm losing my spirit, it's no longer unbroken. And maybe I should remain silent and say, fight, you know, find a new job and not be a martyr for spite. And see, this fight has me losing sight of blessings and love. Them. You've never shown me a way, even when they bore the brunt, when it's this dark place, I've sunk it. And I might imply by the above that I'm feeling uninspired, but I'm alive and relentless and fighting for my rights. And I'm allergic to inspirationists, institutional. I'll start again. I'm allergic <laughs> to institutional racist and gerrymandering. <clears throat> flounder, work twice as hard and raise standards. So repeat these words when you feel sunk. Don't feel stuck. Imagine magic has the plug. If you say trying to be, so trying to be everyone's cup of tea makes you a mug. The move with love, remain unique. <laughs> Horrible should never budge. Even when prejudged by those who bear a grudge, remember in the words of the flow assist. My child, you are loved. You are loved, you are loved. Keep swimming, my child. Never forget you are loved. You are loved, you are loved. My child, never forget you are loved. Keep swimming. You're almost there. You are loved, you are loved. You are loved, you are loved. Yes. Thank you, man. Dude.